You see, we're gonna realize this when we take our last breath or when we leave this body and go to the next plane, you're gonna realize like, geez, man, I like thought this human life was so important. Like I lived my whole life thinking how important this was. I was so identified with this VR human equipment that like I couldn't really enjoy my subtle self that I'm feeling now because I'm on another plane. Like, why couldn't I enjoy that while I was in the human body? Damn. And then you gotta come back. <laughs> you gotta, because this is the goal of consciousness. It wants to realize itself while in this human form. While it drinks from the well of forgetfulness and forgets everything, forgets who it really is, it wants to use this life to wake up <clears throat> and remember itself even while it's in this human form. This is the highest goal. Then when we leave here, we'll see our, our little other friends and they'll be like, damn, man, you did it. <laughs> this is the point. So when I'm saying that this life, when it gets right down to it, it's totally meaningless. Yeah, when it gets right down to it, everything's meaningless. Our true self, there's only the one self. You see, there's not individual self, self, and there's a this self, and oh, this self's gonna recognize its real self. That's all part of the game. But you have to cooperate with that, see? Because then you, you run into the danger, the danger of becoming a non-dual oak. That, that just, you know, they're, they're too one-sided, one-dimensional. Nothing exists, and I don't know, you know? Yeah, but my mom just died. Yeah, but she don't exist, and, you know, all that stuff. Like, don't do that. So there's a balance with this. <clears throat> So I'm pointing on the deepest, deepest level. How can anything really matter? Because it's all form. It's changing. It like it's just like, you know how many, how many people die a day on this planet? I don't know, a million or something. I remember there's a hundred thousand people who die in their sleep a day. And there was some statistic. Okay, that's just humans. How many sentient beings, period, die every day? It's probably trillions. So can this life really be that important? I mean, it's so easy to die. There's, I can remember a couple times in my life where like, I could have just died. Like it was like <laughs> this crazy ocean. <clears throat> when I was younger, I was in Thailand. I just thought I was like, man, I can swim across the ocean. Like bring it. Yeah, and that damn, the, the under the riptide was happening. And I, I couldn't get back. I was like, oh man, I couldn't get back. I tried to let the wave push me back, but the, the undercurrent was so strong, I would just be in a standstill. The wave would just wash over me, but I'm still going backwards. Yeah, I was in trouble. How did I get back? I don't know, Grace brought me back because I remember in a moment, I kind of, I surrendered. Something, something, this is why, yeah, this is what happens a lot, I think, with a lot of, a lot of people when they when they cross over when you're at that point where you know it's like you it's time to go something surrenders it's it's instinctual unless your identity with the body is so strong like you know even god can't break it <laughs> otherwise something just releases it's like okay so that's i remember i felt that when i was in the ocean i was like Phew. you know I remember I got in a motorcycle accident. I used to, I, I like to drive ninjas, sport bikes. You get to 100 miles an hour in a few seconds. And so I was, I was going over the hill and then the hill was going down and then there was a traffic light. There wasn't enough time to stop. I, I didn't see it when I was going up the hill. And then there was a car parked. It was like slow motion. I was like, okay. I'm done. I didn't even have a chance to say that, but energetically something just surrendered. And the bike went under the car. I, I instinctively like laid the bike down. <laughs> I wasn't gonna, you know, I laid the bike down and then the bike went under the car and then I slid around and somehow I ended up, when the driver opened his door, I was just like looking at him and then I passed out. What's the point? All right, it's so easy to die. Yeah. So, if life was really that important, man, do you, do you, you know, you think it would be that easy to die? Like, we have, 
I want to, I want to, <laughs> I make bullet points so I don't, I don't regress too far. It's like when you put that, did I say the name right? Acolix, the, the VR equipment that you can get now. When you put that on, okay, so I'm, I'm making balance now. I'm not just going to say nothing exists. You got to make balance. Otherwise you just, it's just stupid. It's ignorant. You can't just share on one side and not share on the other. <clears throat> you put that VR equipment on, because my friend had it. I, I checked it. I tested it like last year when I was in Florida. You put that on, you know, you, you know like that you're like not the VR equipment, that the, <clears throat> that what you see is a virtual reality. Like you, you understand that at the same time, you're, you're playing it in the damn, the, the thing that you hold, the stick that you're holding is vibrating. And, and then you're on a roller coaster. I mean, you like, really like, you gotta like, you can fall down and hurt yourself. Like it's real. So this human experience, same thing. It's more real, more real than that. Like a hundred thousand times more real than that. So, we still cooperate with this human process and we use it for, for its highest purpose, which is to recognize and realize ourselves while we're in this human form. This is the highest purpose. So we cooperate with that. At the same time, the spiritual practice is recognizing, wait a minute, but this is a, my true quintessential self is pure, formless. I can, something's aware of that right now so it's like, this really doesn't mean anything when it gets right down to it. But on relative level, it means something. I'm going to cooperate with that. I'm not going to be a non-dual oak. It's nothing means nothing. That's balance. This is what we got to do. Did I miss anything? Yeah, that's, that's what I wanted to... Uh, that's the main thing. <clears throat> so life is meaningless, but at the same time, very meaningful. Don't, uh, intuitively, it will show us how to navigate this. The mind, this is where we get into trouble, was when the mind starts, the mind hijacks spiritual concepts, imposes at, as it as a realization. It thinks because it understands something that it's realized it. No, there's two different things. There's realization and mental understanding is a world of difference. It's a world of difference. And anybody sensitive, anybody who has a realization can easily spot out someone who's just talking from intellect. It's so easy. The vibration, you can just, it's, it doesn't, it means nothing on superficial level. A person could be wearing orange. They could be playing the very relaxed role. Okay, just let's meditate. Somebody who's, who's tuned, you, you, you just see through that. Or you can be like Nazar Sagata, smoking beaties. Man, look, <clears throat> it was only the self. That's what it is. Like, like, I was here before manifestation even happened. <laughs> I think that's why he didn't have a big following. Because your average uh, superficial oriented person like they couldn't tune, they couldn't, they said how, their mind would say, how can he be self-realized? Like, look, look at what he's doing. Don't look at what he's doing. Don't even listen to the words. Listen to the, to the energy, the vibration that's behind the words. You see? God can dress himself up as a saint and manifest in, in a, various ways. I think I already made the video, why do some beings who are awake act crazy? Yeah, I like I liked making that one. <laughs> so, you, there's a saying that says, uh, look, life is always ironic and, and funny. A true, only another true master can recognize a master. <laughs> it's like that. Because otherwise, <clears throat> the disciples' minds usually uh, are doing the interpreting. There's a dog that's like really having fun in the water. I just don't want them to, they get excited sometimes to come over here and knock my camera down. And it messes my video up. <laughs> so, there's solace and peace and serenity in this realization that everything's meaningless. This is the point. But not if perceived by the mind. If perceived by the mind, then you might want to kill yourself. 
There has to be a deeper understanding, something inside that you can just feel. Some people, I, they leave the comments, they, they know. It's like it just feels dreamy. This whole existence feels very dreamy right now. It feels like I'm in a movie. I'm watching the dog jump around and do funny things, but it's like it's somehow this reality is not so real. There's a superficialness about it. There's a superficialness about this human form, Yash, speaking to a camera. It's like I don't take it too serious. It's a role that the consciousness is playing right now. That's fine. It's fun. I'm acting. Acting, but not really. You see? We can't. It's balance. Only in. <laughs> it's impossible. You can't explain. You can't do the balance. See, some people ask me, they're like, how do I do it, though? I want to do the balance. I want to, like, when I meditate, ah, I feel, I feel, okay, I feel the balance. But then I go out into the world, how do I keep that balance? What kind of answer are you looking for? You think, because your mind, first recognize your mind's asking that question. The mind has no idea. Do you realize the mind can't figure that out? The fact that you, you're even experiencing a sense of balance via your meditation, it's not the mind doing that. It's grace doing that. When you're doing your meditation, something's letting go and surrendering. And so then you start to experience your true nature. It's automatic. So that will direct you on how to so-called maintain the balance. And if you don't maintain the balance, sometimes, so what? Then the mind will come in, oh, you're not maintaining the balance. Well, hey, mind, uh, I'm not really interested in what you have to say about something that you know nothing about. Yeah, say that to people too. I've said before, if people only shared what they know, oh man, it would be like during the lockdown period. Remember how quiet it was? Yeah, it'd be like that all the time. All right, take care.